Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Hey guys, next we're RoadDrew.com. We're getting down to the nitty gritty um, in in the world, in, in the world in every sense, but silver especially. Um, silver does have the ability to destroy the banking cabal by itself. Um, imagine if silver went to over fifty dollars. How many banks would be literally taken out to dry and um, never be heard from again? Banks like J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Citibank. Um, yeah, so they got to control it. Uh, but uh, you know, it's also the good guys know that. <laughs> That's that's Achilles' heel of banking. It has always been, um, at least for the last 170 years, since they've been suppressing the price of silver. Silver won't move like any other uh, asset you've ever seen. If it uh, truly goes for its fair market value, uh, what is it? I think it's well over a thousand dollars an ounce. Um, what at what point will new silver mines open? It takes years to do that. At what point will people, people already in the know that there's a massive uh, silver shortage on the industrial side, at what point would people sell their silver? If, they're, if, they, if they take the time to understand what's going on, they're not going to want to sell it as the price moves up. They're going to want to buy more. That's the ugly fact. And nobody's going to want to sell and everybody's going to want to buy more. Uh, silver eagles, for example, very rare did people sell back their silver eagles. They stick it in their safe or closet or give it away to their grandkids, and it just stays there. Um, so let's talk about this. We got uh, silver price. We are at a point where historically um, the price of silver is allowed to move up by the riggers. We are at a point where the commercials have gotten rid of as many of their shorts as they possibly can from the other side the uh, you know if you look at the commitment of traders report just this last reporting week which ended last tuesday uh they dumped about 30 million ounces of their short position and they were able to do that because the managed money um actually wasn't managed money yeah it's managed money put on six that 30 million ounces of new longs or new shorts but also subtracted 30 million ounces from their longs. This is this is one of the best setups you can find for silver as of last Wednesday. Um, and then there's a couple over here in other reportables and non-reportables that could be Elon Musk, could be, uh, you, know, you name it, BlackRock shorting. It could be anything. Those are like the entities that can do a lot of stuff, but they don't officially have to report. Um so, yeah, great setup for that. And the other great setup is this, the obvious one. These are the moving averages. You know, Ted Butler's been screaming about this every single time it works the same way. When it crosses over the moving averages, all these people who just went short, all these managed money traders, the tech traders who just went short when the price dropped down, have to cover those shorts. And that's buying pressure. And that's what makes these big jumps like happened here in March to... Uh, March to April it just exploded higher, and then up here at these numbers, the the banks, the commercials short the, the price again to slow down the rise, and then they try to slam it again. So that's where we are. We are at that point, the same exact point that the CFTC refuses to look at. It's the point where all of a sudden this changes. Last week, last reporting week, this changed massively. Right here, uh, it's 23 and 36, right here. That's, uh, that would be 6,000 contracts times five, 30 million ounces that these criminal shorting entities were able to get out of. And the managed money right here in the shorts, they added the shorts that the, that the commercials sold. So, and then they sold 6,000, which is crazy. I don't know why they did that. Why would they sell 6000 at a longs, and silver especially? Because you're not going to be able to buy it back unless it's BlackRock in there. BlackRock could be anywhere. BlackRock is one of the big riggers of silver. Uh, a guy named Evie Hambro runs their silver rigging program. Uh, Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan is also in there, although they have to do it through their customers. Until Monday. Until next Monday, the 25th is when J.P. Morgan gets out of their deferred prosecution agreement from the DOJ 
unless the DOJ files suit, charges J.P. Morgan one more time with something related to rigging the markets. There's plenty to charge him for, mind you. But the CFTC has, the SEC has, it's up to the DOJ. If they find one more thing before Monday, then the deferred prosecution agreement is over. The settlement is thrown out. Their gold, silver, and uh, treasury settlement is thrown out. All they need is one more thing where they defied the law and, the, and that whole agreement goes away and they can go after him for RICO charges again. So it is a big time. You now, the odds of the DOJ doing that, it would destroy the world. It would be pressing that button that Dick Allgaier said, hey, somebody needs to press the button. Um, because you take out J.P. Morgan, the largest bank derivative holder in the United States, so I think it's close to $60 trillion in derivatives that we know of. Um, good night. Every bank's gone. Your 401k is gone. Your stock account, your, your savings account, your checking account, there is no recovery from them. So it's a big deal if they press that button. Um, but again, silver, same old game, same players, uh, same incompetent regulators. They're not incompetent. They know what's about to happen. JP Morgan has one of their people on the, on the, CFTC board. One of the commissioners is ex JP Morgan. One's ex Citibank. Same with the person in charge of the OCC numbers, the Office of Comptroller of Currency numbers on derivatives, is a JP Morgan guy also. That's how the game is played. And the only thing you can do is stay out of the way as this thing blows. I don't know if they're going to set the price of silver to minus $40 or it's going to hit a million dollars before they can do that. I don't know. Something is coming. Something wicked this way comes. Um, again, if you guys watched, I did a private road discussion about what I think is going on at the Mint. We will know in the next two weeks, three weeks, whether or not the Mint has uh, decided to follow the law or not. If the answer is not, then we will know in the next couple of weeks if they stop making Silver Eagles, and then you're going to see premiums jump up again to 80%, 90%. If they stop making eagles for the last, you know, two and a half, three months of the year. Why would they do that? Well, maybe something big is coming. Silver eagles are not anything like a regular ounce of silver. It is the constitutional money of the United States of America. And there is technology now to identify every single silver eagle that was made since, what, 1987, 86? I think the law was passed in 86 and the first coins were 87. can't quite remember. But we have the ability now to identify, scan and identify every single legitimate Silver Eagle made and put them on a blockchain and so they could use, be used as money, as our constitutional money. And that's through Honeywell has a... Um, a, an ability to take coins. So here, let me show you where they they can do either uh, currency or coin. Uh, doesn't matter whether the transaction is taking place in large central bank, an office, or across the counter of a corner market. People need to know the banknotes and coins they are using are the real thing backed by the full faith and confidence of the issuing government. Counterfeiters today take, have more tricks up their sleeves than ever before, but you can stay steps ahead of the forgers by choosing Honeywell Secure Lock and Key Solutions as the backbone of effective anti-counterfeiting program. So what it does, it scans the coin and looks at the crystalline structure of that silver coin, takes a picture of that, and then applies a number, a code, a blockchain position to that actual structure. And there you got have a coin that's completely identified as the single one ounce coin made by the U.S. Mint. That's the future. How did I get to this? Understanding this guy, David Ryder. David Ryder was in charge of this program at Honeywell. He was the last Mint director. He, he was the Mint director back in the early 90s too. Each time David Ryder was fired by one of the deep pedal cabal. 
The first instance, it was Bill Clinton. The second instance, it was Joe Biden. They don't want this. They want they want their their, their crypto solution, their XRP solution. But I, I think the good guys are going to win this. Lots going on in the banking situation right now. Jamie Dimon is freaking out because the House financial hearing. Uh, here's here's a report from Wall Street on Parade. Lobbyists grab control at House Financial Services hearings, backing Jamie Dimon's push to gut higher capital proposals. So they the the criminals within Congress are fighting against we the people to have any kind of controls on the banks. The banks know with the more the controls they have against them, the more trouble they are in their derivative position. And that's why they have to buy off politicians, kill them if you have to, and they have. So we're getting it to a point where they're increasing the pressure on banks at the worst time possible for the banks. And then we have this. The kitchen sink is McCarthy's only path to avoid a shutdown. It probably won't work. We are going into a shutdown in the United States of America. You might say, who cares? So what? How many times have we been through this before? They shut down for a little bit and then everything opens up. Unless you have a problem with the banking system at the exact same time. Unless you have a problem with the gold and silver market at the exact same time. Unless you have a problem with uh, China, China invading Taiwan at the exact same time. It could be all of the above. And then maybe they'll even set off a few natural disasters like they did in Maui. So, yep, it does look like Congress is finally going to say, you know, that's it. That's enough. We're done funding this, the deep state cabal. Uh, Biden will be, there won't be an election. Mark my words. There will not be an election, at least nothing like we think there's going to be. Um, and I mean, if things kept going like this. The Democrats have said they're not going to allow any debates. What? They're trying to put Trump in jail so he can't run for office. It's The whole thing is insane, but it's what we're living through. There won't be a regular election. And you notice that they haven't fixed anything of the problems that everybody complained about. No matter who lost the election, they always complained that it was rigged. Hillary Clinton complained it was rigged. Trump complained it was rigged. All the way back since the beginning of time, people have been claiming it's rigged, but they never want to change it. They never want to fix it. The U.S. Postal Service has a patent on a blockchain voting thing that would end all this criminality, and yet it came out in 2016, yet nobody wanted to implement it then and have not implemented it since. So that's crazy. It's crazy. All right. I just got done with an hour-long discussion about silver with Jenny Moonstone for her uh, Patreon channel. Uh, she has an amazing channel of her, does her readings, has a lot of customer interaction. If you you can ask her questions for the silver group, she has a silver group. So her, her uh, actual Patreon is at, uh, it's Jenny Moonstone Patreon. It's only 17 bucks a month. And then the VIP is 25 bucks a month. And then the Silver Knights Collective is a handful of silver guys over there um, that we do monthly she she does a lot of readings on silver. If you're interested in silver, she's done fucking amazing things for the road to Ruta people, especially when it comes to understanding that the the child trafficking issue and the silver issue are going to be fixed at the same not fixed be exposed at the same time. And we're seeing that right now. It's, for example, Jamie Dimon is knee deep in it's being exposed that the Jamie Dimon and the board of J.P. Morgan did a lot more than just you know, fund Jeffrey Epstein a little bit. They were the only funder of Epstein, which makes them accomplices to the crimes of thousands of children who were abused and continue to be abused in that arena that's still going on. How many more um, instances is J.P. Morgan funding? That's all coming out now in the trials. Hang on tight. Um, again, Jenny Moonstone, Patreon, become a Silver Knights Collective member. I think she's posting it tomorrow, our one-hour discussion. We get we get deep into, if you're into the spiritual side of silver or into the physical side of silver or into the monetary side of silver, um, there's some great questions to ask. And, and I, I think I did a decent job talking about it. But go check it out. Uh, go to roadtoroad.com. 
if you're looking to get your Veritasium token. Uh, I haven't talked about it much, but yes, Veritasium, if the system falls apart, it makes sense that they'd use something like Veritasium uh, as far as the U.S. Mint. If the U.S. Mint is going to have a blockchain-type solution to the monetary system, gold and silver as money, nobody wants to carry around coins. They can use Veritasium and the patent that Reggie Middleton acquired from the United States of America to implement a uh, a blockchain based system, a blockchain system based on gold and silver coins, that you can actually tag an address, a public address to a coin, because of the structure of the Honeywell type of information. Uh, but you can't do that without using the um, Reggie Middleton patent. I think that's what's in store. One of the things in store. Anyway, you can get a Veritasium token at RoadToRoot.com by being a subscriber to the private road it's 2.99 for a year hit subscribe today and we will send you one of these babies loaded on a paper wallet and just stick it away with your silver and then wait for the the world to change not end the world to change it's a big swear i'll talk to you later